Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my snippets. Firstly, I would just like to thank all of you for your lovely comments regarding my last post, last video. Um, yeah, sorry, I sort of opened up a can of worms. However, I was just kind of, you know, saying how I felt, and I'm sure that in time I'll work it out and see how it, you know, it all feels to me. It's complicated for me. So, you know, but what I'm really, really, really hoping to do is that we can get our project finished by, oh, in the next few videos. So we'll have it finished for Christmas. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Now, um, let's have a look at it. So, there she is, you know, in all her glory. <laughs> okay, so I'm working on my back. And so what I've decided to do on my back is to keep it really simple because you know my backside it doesn't have to be as glorious as my front side but i'm going to be very mindful of my color palette and i'm going to keep it very much to that because as you know um i work with a limited color palette and i know that this is working for me so why reinvent the wheel if i know that this works so what i have done and what i am planning to do is to do something very similar now um, to what is in my book but for those of you who don't have this book don't stress too much you know for those of you who come to my workshops will know that adding bits and pieces is what I love to do to a stitch and to my flowers it's kind of like my trademark so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very similar to page 58 and it's the E so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start so she starts her life as a chain stitch and then I kind of add on to that. Now, a chain stitch is, you know, a chain stitch and it can kind of look a bit clunky and heavy. So don't, ma please make sure that when you're doing a chain, you're not pulling it too tightly so that your little, it closes up because you might as well do a stem stitch if you can't see the negative space up amongst your chain. And let me just finish this thread off. Now, this is my little sample piece that I've been working on. So I'm just going to go over a chain stitch with you. I'm sure you all know how to do chain. Now, um, most people, uh, and if you see it in a book, chain stitch literally is, oh, chutz. maybe I should do a knot to help me go. All the rainbow lorikeets have had little babies and the, the chicks are so demanding. Oh, goodness me. So, okay, so um, you, you reinsert your needle in exactly the same place where the thread came out and you're going to travel along and this thread is going to go underneath your needle, okay? So there it is. Don't pull this too tight because it'll close up. So once again, you're going to go to the right of it and pull it through. Now remember that this linen is um, very loosely woven. The cardinal sin of a, la a chain stitch is actually to pull it backwards because you shorten it. So don't, don't, don't do that. Sorry, why was I stitching there in the corner of the camera? Now, most of you, if not all of you, oh, that's hard. You, um, I think you all, all the books will tell you to kind of work towards yourself. So that is actually how most stitcher, most books will tell you how to work. But as you know, I kind of, wow, <laughs> the rainbow lorikeets are full on here today. As you know, I kind of work away from myself. Okay, so that is a chain stitch just make sure that when you do your chain if this thread has left looped to your left then the thread must come to the right of where that thread came out does that make any sense whatsoever let me tell you again if I pull her out I'm going to loop it round and to my left now this I need to reinsert my needle to the right of where that thread came out of that chain stitch there's a lot happening in this garden today <laughs> all right so that is a chain stitch as i said please 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 
do not pull her too tight and also do not lift that thread up because you'll shorten it up. Now, a chain stitch like a lazy daisy is quite difficult to kind of get even, but don't stress too much because we are, you know, this, we've started, she started her life, this little thing that's happening here. She starts her life off as a chain stitch, but by the end of it, she's not really going to look like a chain. So don't get too carried away about stressing too much that this, your chain stitch actually isn't, um, even because us, things that we're going to add onto her will make a, a huge difference to it. Also, as I, I don't know if I'm repeating myself, do not make that chain too thin because it'll just close up and then you might as well just do a heavy stem, stem stitch and we don't want that either. All right, so one other thing is when you're doing something like this, so you can see I've got one lovely curve here and another little short one here choose a side and I always get, I always do the main one first and then I come in and add the other little one in there okay when I've added my little stab stitches to that you will notice that they are not close together because this is actually very very long can you see it's a it's a, it's a long kind of thing and it's taking up quite a lot of space on this area so if I put my little stab stitches, compacted them in and have a lot of them, this whole thing would have just got, oh, you would have been so unhappy. I want to actually keep it long and glorious and, you know, whatever else. So now what I'm also going to do, remember what I said, I'm going to keep the color palette the same as what's on my other side. Okay. And I'm going to mimic something on here that is here. And that's only for design purposes. So I'm keeping it quite similar to the one side. I'm mimicking something. So what I've done is I've used the same four millimeter silk ribbon in the lilac that I used there. That's from your starter pack. And I'm going to add it onto here. long a ribbon here tiny little tiny little bites of my fabrics fabric because I want these to be little 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 and on each one of my legs I am going to be putting a little bud so once again I thought I was going to do something very similar to the book and it's nothing like what I had in the book truth be told have to confess that I did a whole video on this yesterday and then when I looked at it I realized that I wasn't at all in the center the whole thing I was just gabbing on blah de blah and I was in the middle of the camera how really odd is that there you go They're all flying around. Oh dear, and I all landed in the tree. Oh, oh. The miners have arrived and are now chasing the... <laughs> wow. Goodness me. See, over here, there's supposed to be another one, but I've chosen a side. Can you see I've chosen her? So it's like choosing it, your favorite child. Not really. Let's have a look at this. Yes, I'm going to be very, very happy with that. So normally when I do something, I do the whole thing and then I come back in and then I add what I think needs to be added on. It's a, it's a sort of just as one thing has been done and completed, it sort of tells me what I can do on the other one. So I am pulling this when I'm doing this lazy days, you remember on your other ones, I said, oh, soft hands, soft hands. But on this one, I'm being a little bit meaner when I'm pulling through. When she's right, only when I'm happy with my ribbon, then I pull her tight. Because I want these to look like tiny little buds. How cute is that? I don't know if any of you in... Um, Australia were watching the Peregrine live streaming on YouTube in Orange, New South Wales. They have 
these peregrines who there's a camera on them the whole time anyway long story short they had two birds baby birds the fl the parents of the peregrines and we watched them grow and then we we watched them fledge and it was amazing to actually see these little birds that we had um oh it was so lovely and to see the parents feed them and oh but sadly i think from the one from when the birds fledged the one bird we have they haven't seen again so we're assuming that she is something happened to her that's pretty sad yeah now i'm i'm pretty happy with that i think it's going to work so you know you don't need to see me do any more of that if you can prep that for me now a curve is a very very lovely thing but uh, um, a curve that's oh when a curve's not great she's not great so please take your time to get that lovely swirl happening if you are going to be doing what I'm doing you can see that there's not really much else that I'm going to do with this I'm going to add this and I'm going to have things floating off her and then for me she's going to be finished so remember I was going to just somewhat duplicate from the other side but typical me I've changed my mind um, if some of you really want to go ahead and not wait for me, just duplicate, as I said, what uh, is on page 58 from this book and just duplicate that and that'll work perfectly fine for the next, um, and then you'll be up to date with me. You won't have to wait until you see what I'm doing. So with that, thank you very much uh, for your time. And I will see you around and I will get back to you. Um, all your lovely comments. Thank you very much for taking the time to send me those comments. And with that, with the sound of the little rainbow lorikeets, I'll see you around. Morning, Bye everybody. I have an update of the insipid little rainbow lorikeet. I think I've managed to salvage it with a little bit of embroidery, a little bit of holly, Ellie's name vintage lace and I think it's going to be okay <laughs> very very I'm happy I've resurrected you cute little one